everyone. Dave's checking to see if we're live. It's man day at living on a dime. <laughs> I guess it's mandatory for you to be here. Wait, what? Sorry, that's so random. Okay, I'm gonna have to speak up and use my normal manly voice, aren't I? Well, my manly voice. There you go. <laughs> All right. Yep. Can you see the table on the camera? Okay, well, hey, we're live. You can't see the table on the camera. Hi, everyone. This is Mike and Dave at Living on a Dime. <laughs> Today, Dave sadly has to take comments. Today, Dave is being Mike and I'm being Tara. So I'll have to try to talk a little... Well, never mind. I don't know, if I say get it together, people, I might knock all this stuff everywhere. <laughs> so, uh, if you haven't been with us before on the show, this is not our normal show. Uh, my wife, Tara, usually is doing the cooking and I'm usually over here checking comments and just kind of keeping the tech technology part rolling. And Now, today, Dave it's is joining like me. live on YouTube. Yay! And uh, we're cooking, I'm going to try to cook a recipe out of living, on the, out of dining on a dime. And um, I can cook, but I rarely cook following recipes. I usually cook the things that I know. <laughs> so I think this will turn out fine, but we're going to check it out and see. Um, before we get going too far, I was going to tell you uh, while we're waiting for everyone to get on. It looks like we're live on both. Yay. Um, that Tara and Ellie are in Knoxville right now. They just got there. So all the people that were talking about Tennessee, uh, they said, where's that page, Dave? I, th I think uh, they said that they're having a meetup tomorrow, which would be Thursday, uh, at the uh, Apple Barn restaurant in Pigeon Forge. It's, uh, Dave is sharing the information in the comments right now. So if you're in the area near Knoxville, Tennessee, or uh, that is, they're, they're going to have an informal meetup there tomorrow. So if you want to come, come by and see them. Since we're only announcing it today, it may not be a whole lot of people, but it should be fun. So anyway, if you wanted to meet Tara and Ellie, that's where they are right now. So yay. Oh, did you see all those thumbs up? That was awesome. So if you're new here, uh, I'm going to cook the recipe in just a minute. I was just kind of chit-chatting a little and sharing a little of what's going on. They've been on the road for... Two Heidi days says now. you got this, Mike. Wahoo! Which Heidi? Uh, oh, yay. Thanks, Heidi. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, I've already started this recipe a little bit. Today I was going to make, uh, in Dining on a Dime Cookbook on page 204, you can put the link in for that, Dave, it's lemony chicken breast. Although I'm improvising because I don't have any chicken breast. <laughs> so, I had chicken tenderloins, and I kind of put together the amount that looks like the one whole chicken breast that this uh, describes. So, Dave, um, oh, can, let's see. So Dave just shared the link to the recipe that I'll be making. Yeah, and if you have the book, it's on page 204. Yeah, you can put that one in too. Awesome. So, any questions before I get started? Hey, everyone. Uh, what are you making today, James wants to know. So, I. Just in case you missed it, I'm making this lemony chicken breast on page 204 of I the dining, our, our Dining on Dime Cookbook. If I recall correctly, this is one of the better chicken recipes of the book. Yeah, I don't remember actually seeing this one before. I think Mom made it a couple times. It was pretty good. Did she? I'm pretty sure. It was oh, some kind of... I just realized there's lemon juice in the fridge and I didn't get it. <laughs> um, Do you want some? Sure. So, is... it looks like... It looks like it's peppers, sautéed and some chicken that's got a light coating on the outside and this has put it over pasta but you could use rice I, i'm going to use pasta just because i haven't had pasta in a while and um, then there's a sauce at the end that'll be the challenging <laughs> part just because i don't usually make sauces so i'm i started cutting these uh actually dave if you want to come down here i started cutting these sorry dave's doing more than one job today uh, started cutting these peppers. This calls for two bell peppers, and that seems like an awful lot. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, oh, let me zoom in, guys. I'm going to go ahead and saute these two bell peppers, like it says, but I may only use half of it if it looks like too much. Because that's... For that amount of chicken... Oh, for that amount of chicken, yeah. that looks like an awful lot, and that's just one pepper. <laughs> so I'm going to put that in the pan. 
Oh, and uh, I haven't started it yet. So I'm just going to put that in the pan so I have uh, space to, sa to saute a little more. So you get to see Mike and his like non-particular cutting methods. So I'm not like a chef here. <laughs> so I don't do the whole quick chopping thing, which is good because I'd probably hurt myself. So how is everybody betting on getting it successfully? Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, everyone's saying that I rock. So thanks guys for the support. Actually, it's <laughs> awesome to have Dave in front of the camera. Even Only... though it zoomed in. Here. Hi. <laughs> so, um, with Dave in front of the camera, I might lose my spot there when Tara gets back. Ooh. So I haven't heard that much from them, but they've been driving for two days and Today they said they were, well, yesterday they got stuck in Kansas City traffic for an hour and a half. And I told them, so, so can I get my face in the camera? I told them yesterday when they were in Kansas City traffic that they should take a detour south. But when they're between uh, Kansas City and Columbia where they stayed last night, I noticed if they were to take a detour a little bit south, there's a town in Missouri called Tightwad. <laughs> And I said, you should go to Taiwan, Missouri. Just take a picture there and ask him if the prices are really cheap in their convenience store. <laughs> so Tara thought that was funny, but it looked like it was going to be too long of a drive out of their way. But they saw the Mississippi River today again. Um, I don't think Tara had ever seen it. And I know Ellie hadn't. And when we were in Minnesota for Dave's, or for BJ's um, Mayo Clinic trip, we went across the Mississippi up there, but it's wider in St. Louis. And Tara said she loved the cool bridge. I do think this is going to be too much, but I'm going to cook it anyway, because if it's too much, I will use it tomorrow. So the recipe calls for, this isn't hot yet, so that's why I'm putting it on here. It says saute the peppers over medium heat. And I don't know how Tara would do it, but I don't like these to be soggy, so I'll probably just lightly saute them. So, let's see, I need to get my oil. Uh, right, here it is. And I'm not real particular, so it says two teaspoons, and basically I think it just means enough to not burn them. <laughs> so, let's see, saute bell peppers over medium heat in a small amount of oil. Okay, I'll start that. Do you want me to zoom out? Sure. Uh, and that will take us a few minutes here. And while I'm doing that, I'll read the rest of the instructions. <laughs> I actually did read this beforehand because I was paranoid. Because, <laughs> you know, he's not like mom. He doesn't plan two seconds when, ahead when she's picking us up from school. Dad plans days before. He was freaking about out about it yesterday. Well, yesterday I was looking through the book saying, can we, can we make, we've made that, we've made that. Oh, I don't want to make that. And I don't know, for some reason I have this thing for chicken recipes, so we don't have enough chicken recipes in the book to do them every day, but if we did, I probably would. Um, oh, here's another pepper. Hello, so, going baddie. I guess this would cook Go faster ahead. if I turned on the burner that's actually under the stove. <laughs> so, Maybe. yeah, unlike Tara, I, I freak out a little more about not being quite prepared, and so... I last night found the recipe and then today I had to go to the school and then I had to go some run some errands and in between every time I had to wait like had to wait in line at both schools I'd pull out the computer and start like working on the graphic or working on the title or something like that so okay so cut the chicken into strips because it's not a chicken breast I talked to Jill and she and I agreed I don't probably need to cut that into strips so uh, mix flour salt and pepper okay this is where I'm one tablespoon of flour, half teaspoon of salt, and half teaspoon of pepper. Is this a half teaspoon? Quarter teaspoon. Oh, I forgot I need to... Half teaspoon, yay. This is a tablespoon, right? I need to smile. <laughs> oh, are they telling you to smile? No, I forgot, but I need to start being like you. Okay, one tablespoon of flour. I'm not gonna bring this giant flour thingy over. And I'm guessing that the one tablespoon is... Melissa, we are doing... Uh, wait, fried lemony We're doing chicken? lemony chicken breast on page 204 in Dining on a Dime. And it is. it looks like it's a lightly pan-fried chicken. 
um, looks pretty good. So I thought that sounds like a great dinner for tonight. Although I'm probably the only one that'll eat it, even though I think the boys will like it. Uh, but when mom's gone, <laughs> they pretty much eat what they feel like. Well, let me say, I give them food and if they don't eat what I eat, they can eat cereal. <laughs> But I don't mind because this says it makes two servings and that's not really enough for all. Oh, uh, Maria says father son bonding. Yay! Yes, father son bonding. So I put one of Tara's salt shakers away because she had two of them on the stove. Don't tell her because that's her big pet peeve when I do that. Uh, don't worry, we'll put it back. When... What do I do with the pepper? Um, okay, so I'm not Kim totally prepared. Apron. Oh yeah, this is the apron. So when Ellie and I were in Ireland and, and the UK, we met one of the reader or viewers, Darren, in London. He's really awesome. Um, he's usually on the Facebook side, and he sent this apron to Tara as a gift. Wow, that is a lot. A half teaspoon of pepper and a half teaspoon of salt. Man, who wrote this? This says half teaspoon, but it sure looks bigger. How many does it say it makes? It says how serves many? two. So yeah, I'm but go how many does that go into in the... Strips. Oh, so it says one large chicken breast cut into strips, and this is how much of the mixture I got from it. So I'm sure that'll probably be fine. Okay, just wondering, would it be too peppery, or would it be like... Well, fine? it might be too peppery for Jack. Oh. So, I'm sure, like with other recipes, if you don't like it as spicy, you could leave some of it out. Because I, I almost thought about... One of, the rest, one of the things I do often is I cook these little chicken things with fajita seasoning and um, garlic and stuff for myself and just put it in a container in the fridge so I can just well, grab a couple. Denise says if it doesn't turn out that you can always deliver you pizza. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so these peppers are, ooh, yum. They're looking nummy so far. Thanks, I Denise. See that. I really love this t-shirt too. <laughs> so, wow, I might, I said I was going to lightly saute them, but I think I'm going to a little more than lightly because I think otherwise they're going to be too crunchy. So just in case I need a little. All right. So I'm um, ready to do the chicken part, and I just have to wait until the peppers are done. I think Jackie Moffitt says, do you need to stir the peppers? Yes. I think she, she must have probably said that just before I did. Oh. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. The sizzling yeah. was my clue. <laughs> I am not... I'm not really a cook, but I have worked in restaurants where I paid attention to the people who knew what they were doing. I think it's Toby says, leave one tender uncoated for Jack. So I would, see. but I think there's some leftover pizza that I made them yesterday, and I think Jack's going to eat he's, that. I think he likes pizza more than chicken. So I'm making use of the bubble and squeak. <laughs> so, all right, let's see. Any other questions or... Wanna... Maria wanted to know what's the name of the recipe. It's um, lemony chicken breasts on page 204. If you haven't shared the link, why don't you put the link in again? I just did. Okay. And it's on page 204 in our Dining on a Dime cookbook here. Which I will also post the Which link into. I actually wrote a couple of these recipes. And I have cooked some, but a lot of this Tara cooks, so I never really have. So since she's gone, we're just going to see if Mike can do it. <clears throat> And so far so good. Did it say how long the sauce be? I'm no just idea. guessing. How um, do you do this, Dad? I don't here. really feel sympathy for you. I'm gonna try one and see how crunchy it is. Mm. Wow. I might not eat mine with the peppers. I'll still eat it. it tastes but amazing, but it's a little crunchy. A little too crunchy still. <clears throat> All right. So, while that's happening, how is everyone? Where's Jacket? Hmm? Where's Jacket? Oh, oh, oh Jack. If you mean Jack, he's, uh, is he on the computer? He's think... on the computer until he runs out of time. Yeah, he's playing on the computer, he's playing video games. But I told him, I'm going to make a recipe tonight, and you have to say you like it. <laughs> no, he didn't actually say that. <laughs> I told him that when we were picking him up after school. <clears throat> it's kind of sad, because Jack and Dave used to go to the same school, and it was kind of cool seeing brothers there together. It was like that picture from camping if you saw it with them going, well that was the way they were at school. And I miss that. Cause now I just pick up Dave in the pickup line at high school. 
Child Lover, we didn't just see the solar eclipse video, we saw the entire, well, not not the entire solar eclipse, but we saw the solar eclipse air quote. So you're probably, are you going to eat half of this, or are you not even like to eat that much of it? I don't like peppers, so. Mm. I wasn't thinking about the peppers. Okay. Yeah, I'll eat some of I'm supposed well. to set these aside, and I didn't get myself anything to set them aside in. Uh, let me grab a, a paper plate here. Thank you, Judy. All right. Sorry, guys, I had to run away for a second. <clears throat> when I was reading the instructions, I didn't think what I'm going to do when I set um, the peppers aside. How do you, I don't know where Mom put the pressure cooker, but... Actually, she took it back. Oh. What did Heidi ask about it? Uh, Heidi, it? Heidi Ram said, no pressure cooker today? Um, no, we don't have a pressure cooker because we didn't find it very... What, what happened is, Tar got the cheap pressure cooker, and we did a show where we made rice. Um, we made rice on the pot and rice in the pressure cooker. Ooh, wow, that's hot. Okay. Turn that down a little. Um, that is very hot. We made rice on the stove in a pot and rice in the pressure cooker, and the pot was done like 15 minutes earlier. Although we used the preset on the pressure cooker, and it ended up taking like it was overcooked. Are you but, talking about for the rice it was Yeah, so I, under. I think Tara could have adjusted it and tried to see if it would work, but she just said, this isn't what I was expecting, and so she took it back. But a lot of people were saying that the they gave us a couple name brand ones, and they said the slightly more expensive name brand ones uh, pressurized faster and cooked better. So we're probably going to try that when she and Ellie get back. Let's see. I don't know if they smile. Mix our salt and pepper. I got this flour, salt, and pepper, cooked chicken with flour, and, and okay, cook six eight minutes. All right, so. Oh no. I set, a lot of you already know how to cook, but I set the pan aside just a little bit because I didn't want it to get too hot staying with nothing in it on the burner. And Lori kinda, says. You just added too much oil. Lori says she will miss them in Knoxville because she has an appointment tomorrow. Oh, that's too bad. M multiple appointments. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, I think the whole trip out there was pretty by the seat of their pants kind of planning. And so, wow, this isn't going to be a lot of coating. Um, so, unfortunately, they didn't know until today. I think on the last show, a lot of people were suggesting they would love to go to Apple Barn, which is why they picked that. So, all right, so I'm coating this. Oh, hey, uh, maybe we should... So I'm coating this in this mixture, but there's not a whole lot of mixture. So maybe these are supposed to be thinly coated. I'm gonna assume. <laughs> yes, I just assumed. Um, okay, so. Did you just, no, no. <laughs> All right. Um, do, do, do. Any questions or anything? You want? This is awesome. Hi, Andrea. Yeah, you know what, awesome. Andrea, I haven't made it ever. But my family from Jennings used to make dirty rice a lot, and I was thinking it'd be fun to make that on the show. Do you have a good recipe? I could look up. I'm sure I could look it up online. Ooh, I just dropped flour on the stove. That's not good. Oh, rip. If there's a fire on the show, don't tell Tara. <laughs> we'll get it cleaned up before she comes back. All right, so this one giant chicken breast that we didn't have is all these little tiny Rebecca ones. says we're so funny. We are? We are? Okay. I'm confused as to so why I'm you made go ahead that statement. Fry these up a little. Oops. <laughs> ah. Uh, so. Judy Clark, try refreshing um, if your video is frozen and see if that fixes it because it's running over here great. Yeah, okay, so I put a little too much oil in here. Oops. So. You probably can't see that, can you? This oil is just to keep the chicken from burning, but that's quite a bit of oil. I should have only put like a tablespoon or something, but I Whoa. added a little too much. Put My your pasta water, water on to on. boil. Oh, so, Bandana Grandma, I actually cooked the pasta ahead of time. I wasn't sure how long it was gonna take and I didn't wanna delay it too much, so I boiled it. I actually took it off just before the show. So I 
It says two cups, but oh. I, oh, sorry. I was too lazy to measure. So I just made some of these. I don't know what this kind of pasta is called, but with rotoni or something. Uh, haven't oh, we rotini. heard from the travelers? Uh, Mother yes. of many horses is wondering. Yes, Tara and Ellie called a little while ago uh, to say that they were having a meetup in Knoxville, well, in Pigeon Forge, t uh, Tennessee tomorrow. Uh, actually, why don't you put that meetup stuff in? And she said that they had a good trip so far. They got stuck in traffic in Kansas City for an hour and a half yesterday, and in St. Louis, I think, for about the same amount of time today. So they were glad to not be, um, they were glad to get out of that. But they were having a good time. They were surprised about all the trees. I forgot where it was they first started seeing trees. Um, but they did tell me they were going to be away from phone and internet for the next two days, I think. Uh, they were still calling me on the cell phone, though, so that's cool. I did, they've been staying, they stayed in an Airbnb last night, and I think that today, I think they're staying in a tiny house trailer Airbnb, which is like Ellie's dream. Uh, Patricia, what, says, what is dirty rice? So dirty rice is a... If you haven't had it, you're missing out. Well, since my family was partly Cajun, I assume it's Cajun, but it's this rice thing that they make in Louisiana that's got rice and sausage and bell peppers and I think sassafras is one of the seasonings which I've never heard of except for that use uh, and onions and stuff like that and it's all mixed together in a rice so it's it's kind of like a Cajun um, fried rice kind of thing. Karen I think it's really will, really good I used to love it when I was a kid. I think they will be gone for three weeks. We don't know for but. sure how long I think Tara and Ellie were planning to be gone for three or three and a half weeks although it's funny because I persuaded. What you doing, Jack? Hi. Oh, you want to say hi? Hi. Here, mm -hmm. mom's not here, so. Mm -hmm. I persuaded Tara that we should go to the Chris Tomlin concert at Red Rocks uh, in Denver. Well, close to Denver. And I just realized today when I was hearing ads on the radio, they're going to be gone. So I might have to take Dave instead. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather play Starcraft. Aw, so I, I don't care. So I'm just kind of turning these until they look like they're sufficiently done. They got a little ways to go. Oh, I'm not an expert at this, but I kind of push on the chicken. I kind of push a little on the chicken, and if it's really super squishy, it tells me it still needs to go away. And if it's sorry, if it's kind of dried out a little it's probably too much so i might pull off the pieces that look like they're getting done done let's see maybe i better read real quick here what i'm doing uh chicken and cook six minutes so a couple of these are cooking faster than the others so i may end up taking them off okay so let's see add chicken and cook add peppers and warm put pasta on the serving dish place chicken and peppers on pasta Wow, that's a lot of dishes. I think what I'm going to do is put the pasta on the dish. So how is everybody today? Are you having a good week? I don't know why I like my hair so much. I'm weird. Oh, at today's show, <laughs> today's our Homestead Network Day. So today's show is part of the Homestead Network at thehomesteadnetwork.com. I think that looks like about two cups. I think it does. Um, and check, be sure and to check out Going Batty after the show. Yeah, Going Batty's so going to be on after us. Now. Um, the Homestead Network is kind of a group of people that are have some association with homesteading. A lot of the people live off grid or raise chickens or other animals or uh, they do a lot of self sufficiency stuff. And even though we don't do a lot of like raising animals or living off grid, when we lived in Idaho, for those of you who don't know this already, uh, we lived in a really remote area and we had to do a lot of that. Just be, we had to do a lot of self-sufficiency just because of where we lived. We couldn't get any anybody out there to fix things when they broke. And well, actually, maybe actually cut that down. Is man on there? Um, yes. 
So Jill, when I said I didn't cut those into strips, I realized one of those chicken pieces is pretty plump. Oh. Aw. Poor little guy. Uh, funny, on these chicken tenderloins, I usually take them right out of the freezer and cook them, but it takes it's a little more difficult to get the middles cooked. I think these are probably good now. I'm surprised these aren't as uh, bready as I thought they um, would be. So, yes, we did get to see the Eclipse, Linda. <sighs> Actually, I think the Eclipse pictures are on there. We didn't show to anybody last time. No BS. Oh, should I show them? Yeah, sure. So, so we were at a 90, uh, the other one first. We were at a 95% on the Eclipse. And so this is what it looked like at the 95%. Um, this is really good quality for the what, kind of camera that it had. It was really cool to see. What was funny is, go ahead. Um, it didn't get as dark, or it didn't appear to be as dark as we thought. Even though the sun was 95% eclipsed, it, it looked kind of like early evening. What was funny is the birds stopped chirping and all the crickets started singing. I'm going to take this one off because that's done enough. Um, the crickets started singing and uh, even though it was still light out, it was pretty cool. So it's funny how they all knew. Yay, look at all those likes and loves. So, oh hey, you can also show the other part of the eclipse. Actually, even though that was oh, yeah. the full this eclipse. This is afterwards. This is a shot when the eclipse was kind of leaving and it was about only at two thirds at this point. But I just thought that picture turned out so nice. It looked really cool. And I didn't even plan to take pictures, but we were kind of live for a few minutes during it and Tara was just talking about how cool it was. and. We couldn't point our iPad for the show at it because it was supposed to, they said it would damage the lens. So I had to take a picture through glasses one of my on a friends different ruined camera. His, well, one kid from school ruined his iPad by doing that. Yeah, really? Yeah, he Sorry. was like... Psh. I didn't cut him. <laughs> oh. uh, Get the red food coming. Oh. He's, this one chicken is... Okay, so the fattest chicken looks like it might need a slight bit more, but I'm going to just put these other ones on here. So, add chicken and cook, add peppers and warm, put pasta on a serving dish, put chicken and peppers on pasta, add chicken broth and lemon juice to the skillet. Oh, lemon juice, right. Okay, so now I'm going to get the, so I've got the chicken and the peppers done. Wow, this is a lot of chicken. And um, Jill, wait, Jill E says cut the thick bits in half. Yeah, I think I will. Oh, well, can I have one that's like not covered in peppers? Um, that's our part of the thick one. Here. Actually, that looks okay. It's actually white all the way in, so it's Ooh. probably good. Wow, I'm overcooking that now. Okay, so. You want a piece? Sure, let me get a bowl. Here, I'm going to put a face down. I'm going to turn off the burner. So do I look like, a, like an amateur here or what? <laughs> the two pieces in there. Okay, oh, so how much lemon juice? Two tablespoons of lemon juice. I don't want the lemon, I just want Actually, it. can I make the topping in here? Can you, can you have a different thing for that? Okay, two tablespoons right. of lemon juice. Dun, dun, dun. Here, I'm gonna rinse this off because it has flour on it. Oops. Yes, Rebecca, we are looking like a pro, I guess. Ooh, yay! And guys, if we aren't catching your comments, be sure to try, if you could, please, if you have a question, please write in all caps, if you can, because that would help us, that would help the questions stand yeah. out from just the comments. Okay, let's so see. Can, you know, yeah. Add chicken broth and lemon juice to the skillet. Okay. So I just measured the lemon juice into here, and I ended up cheating and making... Oh, it's still cooking. Broth. Yeah. Oh. Actually, it's added to the skillet, but there's no more gunk in there. Here. Gunk? Don't you need oil? I forgot I should have kept that cooking. Okay. Here's the two that... I think that's more chicken than needed, so there you go. Um, here, let me grab a little oil. So I'm improvising now. 
Where's that bowl? Oh, did I already put the bowl away? Oh. Here, I'm gonna throw a little more of this stuff because I think perhaps, I think maybe that there should have been a little more stuff left in the bottom of the pot. So I'm gonna add a little more salt and a little pepper and flour and just kind of add that to what's left in the pan, which isn't very much. Lemon No Mole donated two dollars using Super Chat. Woohoo! Thank, thank you. Thank you. Wow. The pepper. Here it is. Okay, so I'm That's kind of winging it slightly thing. on this uh, mixture that was supposed to be in the pan, but isn't. <laughs> so I'm making a little more of this flour stuff with the pepper and all that, and I'm going to add that. And there probably would have been a little bit more oil in there, so I'm going to add a little oil. I'm going to turn this pan on just a little bit to get it warming up so that it resembles what it should have been. <laughs> this is like what we do with David and I with our with the editing and stuff. We do like effects and things later. I might regret doing this, but but we kind of create things after the fact in this video software. So we'll like recreate the scene like this and we'll just edit it to look like it was this. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm just kind of mixing this up in here to be like the stuff that should have been left over from the chicken. Robin, we are not missing the ladies of that. <clears throat> I mean, what? So far, well, Dave says we're not missing the ladies because he got to stay up till after 10 o'clock playing video games with me last night. Oh, well, no, it wasn't. It was video games till 9, I guess. Video games till 9, talking about things from 9 to 10. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so I made a cup of this because I used oh a bouillon goodness. cube because we didn't have any uh, broth. And it only calls for a third of a cup, so I'm going to just dump out one cup into this lemon juice, which is the right amount. And when I get down to two-thirds of a cup, I'll assume that's what the recipe's calling for. Okay. And Anna, Grandma just donated three dollars, too. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank that you very actually much. means a lot. That means that it's like a vote of confidence in the guy. Yeah, it's like a patrol. sudden confidence spike. So you don't feel all weird and stupid. So maybe tilt that down just a little. I don't know if they'll be able to see this anyway, but your your mother-in-law says you're doing just fine. Woohoo! So, so was I covering it. was I good adding to improvise, mother-in-law dear? See, I'm being nice to her now. On Monday, I was kind of making mother-in-law jokes. <laughs> all right. So how much does it say? Stir over medium heat. What do you know? Great brown bits. See, there weren't any brown bits until I added them. You have to scoot over a bit. They can't see any. Okay, can yeah. you guys see this? Just Ooh, a little. Man, that does look like a gravy of some sort. Just a little bit. I probably should rearrange the peppers and the chicken. Hey, Dave. Can you grab a? Well, my hands are clean, so I'm going to do that part with my hands. <laughs> Just warning you ahead of time. This looks like this is probably about the thickness it should be. Wow, that looks really good. Wait, what did you need of me? Can you guys see that? I think that's the kind of the consistency I'm looking for. Oh, yeah. Cook until reduced. That looks reduced. Whoa. All right, so I'm going to quickly rearrange this because I have the peppers on top of the chicken. And I want you to be able to see the chicken. And I've been washing my hands, so yes, they're clean. And now I washed afterwards. All right, so I'm going to put this... Oh, it says to add parsley. And Jill said parsley's not urgent, but I figure, well, the recipe says it, so I'm going to make it look pretty, since I happen to have parsley right there at the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> I had it right on Wait, here. you're already at the grocery Why did you go to the grocery store? To get the parsley. <laughs> oh. That's what I'm saying. I just oh. happen to have it conveniently right at the grocery store. Oh, I thought you were going there for, like, some other thing. Wow, this looks good. Whoa! Look at that! I can cook! Oh. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put this on the... Your gourmet chef. Can you guys see the plate? Uh, probably, yeah. I'm going to pour just pour this over... That does say pour it over the top, right? Pour over chicken. Yay! See? I can be taught. Ooh, yum! Look at that. You're hmm. going to need to hold it up to the camera a bit, too. Wow! So that I all thinking, our lovely crowd can see it. I was thinking about garnishing this, but man, I don't know if I really need to. That looks so delish! <laughs> wow. <sighs> Let's see. Wow, you I actually you, you I had proved a lemon. mom wrong. She said you couldn't cook anything. <laughs> mom, mom said, watch the disaster. No, she didn't really, did she? Well, 
I don't really need to do this, but I was just just gonna be silly and I was gonna garnish this with like a little bit of lemon. But it looks so pretty the way it is, I don't know that I really need to. Are you saying like put a little lemon on the top of it? Well, like I don't know, can they see the cutting? I think so. So I'm just gonna, just gonna take this lemon and cut it in one quarter, one quarter of it so it's like this, and then twist it like that so it looks like it's from a restaurant. Woo, look at that. That's, that adds 10 bucks to the price. <laughs> the oh lemon right there. Yeah. Yay, all right, so do we wanna try it? Hey. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to. Yeah, Jack's gonna say, I don't like green food. I mean, I don't like green food very much. This is all for you, Dad. One little secret that I'm gonna tell you is we have long forks and short forks. I do Those not like the long No, see, that one's shorter. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> a little funny, little funny fact about me that might come up in a, in a trivia question later is I like the short forks. I don't know why. So write that down and you're living on a dime notes book. So, here. Not really. That's so you're not gonna try, you're gonna try this, aren't you? No. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to share with the neighbors. It's green food. Although that might be a good neighborly thing. So I'm gonna take a little piece off. I should have left it so we could take a picture of it. Wow, this really looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna try it right now. Whoa. Uh, Marty. <laughs> Just <Mar> kidding. <laughs> Marty it's really, really Martinez. good. Martinez. This took Man. around 35 minutes to cook this meal, and it looks delicious, even though I don't really. Want That's to really it. good. So. I'm sure. This could is. have been a faster cook. But I really don't cook from recipes very often. So this is kind of like the first time I've cooked out of a cookbook in a long, long time. You guys are rocking it. Yum. Uh, and in case, Batty. Yay. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Going Batty. Um, in case you guys are wondering, in case I, this is the lemony chicken breast recipe from our Dining on a Dime cookbook. Did you, um, if you haven't put the recipe in for a little while, go ahead and do that. Okay. You can throw the cookbook link in too. Um, and I am Mike, if you're... If you're not, if you're new here, I'm Mike. Whoa. My Mike usually does the cooking. But Man, we are on a roll. Yay! Thank you. Andrea, <laughs> I really like short forks. That's awesome. I don't, think I don't know. It's Tar would tell you that I'm overly perfectionist about certain things, and I've tried to let go of a lot of that. But my short fork thing is one of them. The other thing is, <laughs> so who has this problem? We put spoons in the sink, and sometimes they end up going down the garbage disposal, and the ends get chewed up up here. And I have this weird thing about chewed up forks, the weird texture on my tongue. So whenever I get a spoon, I said forks, spoons. I'm, give, I'm confessing all my paranoid secrets. <laughs> whenever I get one out, I just, I just kind of go like this just to see. Oh wait, that's a cut. That's a torn up one. <laughs> Does anyone else do that? Let's see. <laughs> uh... Uh, Amy Z says, ha ha, super chat for the salad fork club. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, the funny thing too is if, if it was just me and I was single, I probably would only use plastic silverware. <laughs> just because, I don't know. I've just gotten used to it. Hmm? Oh, absolutely. So anyway. <laughs> Well, that turned out to be really delicious. So this is the lemony chicken breast again, in case wow. you didn't see it before. It really is good, and I'm gonna eat probably only half of this after the show. Guys, also remember- Although it does say two servings, so. If you're new and you like these videos we've been making and stuff, be sure to hit that subscribe button, because once we hit 100,000, I have no idea what we're gonna do. <laughs> Man, I'm sure if we hit 100,000 subscribers, we'll have to do something big. We're gonna, I thought mom said we were gonna give like I mean, if we hit like a million, we're gonna give like fifty thousand dollars to someone. What? I forgot. Yeah, she shouldn't be saying that until we make sure we can actually yeah. do that. She said, "Well, I mean, we'd be making so much money off of it." Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't see. Did Andrea say anything about dirty rice? Hmm. Secret confessions. <laughs> yes. So Andrea, uh, Andrea on YouTube uh, was living in England when Ellie and I were over in the UK, and uh, we met up with her and her son and. It, we started to have a meetup, but they were the only ones that came because we we were a little confused about where we were going and we didn't announce it till shortly before. 
But we sat and we ate with them, and they're actually Americans. We got three super chats. Who had lived over there for quite a while. Got three super chats? All right. Yay. Yeah, because Dad's doing awesome. <laughs> Maybe we need one more. But the cool thing is that they knew so much cool stuff to see there, and we ended up going on this... Um, Cat liver, I'll probably try it after the show, maybe. We ended up going on this awesome night of seeing, like, Chinatown and seeing, uh, I, I, we went to a couple of train stations and we went to the Lego store and we went to the M&M store and the, I was, I forgot what track that is from Harry Potter, uh, track something and a half. Sorry, I, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, it was a really cool night. It was one of our best nights uh, on that trip. It, on the last day, Andrea, Ellie and I also got a wild hair after she was kind of sick for a few hours in the afternoon. She suddenly felt better and we went like all evening long. We went to all the major tourist things in the middle of the night. So anyway. Yeah. Cat lover, I don't eat from certain spoons because of the taste of them. Hmm. Hair clothes. See, I think if there's a taste on there, I put it back in the dishwasher. <laughs> See, for me, the taste... Sometimes I get like the soapy taste, like the soap from the dishwasher is like stuck on there. And it tastes disgusting. That also happens with my donut cup over here. It like doesn't wash it out the inside. So usually I have to like go in and scrub and it's really annoying because, you, you know, there's soap in your cup. Yes. <laughs> and that's gross. Oh, yay, keep up the good work, David Mike. Yay, finally get to see some live. Thanks, Tina. Glad you're here. Yeah, this is a different than usual show because Tara and I are usually on together and she's usually cooking. This is going to be normal for the next three weeks. Yeah, but Tara and Ellie, our, our daughter, are on a road trip. Um, so if you guys are familiar with our family, we have, or there's our daughter and our niece. Um, and oh man, this is our niece. We adopted our niece and, and she was living here, but she just went to college last Wednesday. So... It's only a couple hours away from us, so... And Dave got his own room. But, yeah, Dave got his own room now. So, uh, Tara and Ellie are on a 14-state a tour. Well, actually, they're just out. Tara's been talking about moving for a long time, and so she, they just... They're out... She's seeing what... Seeing what different parts of the country are like, and, and meeting... She's going to meet some of the other people along the way. Uh, some of the other people that are on... I think some of the other people from Homestead Network, and then some just other YouTubers that we know... In or, general. Or, or uh, like I said, she's also doing the Knoxville meetup. Let's paste that information in again. Oh. Uh, oops, that's the wrong software. No fetch. Don't get the dog, man. <laughs> uh, where is that? Oh, oh here it is. This okay. is super hot. So... I must have gotten a big, huge chunk of pepper. So then I'm pasting in the information again about the Knoxville meetup, which is actually in Pigeon Forge. <laughs> but, oops. Um, it's in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. It's at the Apple Barn restaurant tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. And uh, Tara didn't have an opportunity to make a video because apparently where they are, there's no internet. <laughs> Wait, 4.30 p.m. Eastern, right? Yeah, 4.30 p.m. local time in Tennessee. So Which I just shared that again. Actually, Cat Lover... We got another... We, we got another On the taste chat. of the spoons, I have noticed that different metals have different, slightly different tastes. We are getting so many Super Chats. Oh, what? Oh, thank you, Lucy. Thank you. Oh, and my goodness. Is it, um, is it Aga or Asia? Aga? I think it's Asia. I don't know. And Andrea and Bandana. And Lucy. Oh, and Lucy. Lucy, you guys make uni workable? What? <laughs> What does that mean? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> but thank you. But thanks, yeah. And lemon, hello? Lemon no no. Nice. No more. I don't know. I, How do you we're say probably that? not saying it right. I'm, I'm sorry. bad at pronouncing names, okay? Uh, Sorry. Oh, so Lisa's asking how much. So uh, the cookbooks, why don't you put the Dining on Dime link in for a minute? Um, for the people that were wondering, uh, who was it that asked? Lisa. Uh, the cookbooks are twenty one ninety five, um, and Dave's sharing the link if you want to go there and get one. They, um, if you, we do ship them anywhere that books are legal, <laughs> uh, but out of the United States, the shipping is more expensive because we do have a lot of people that ask about that, and that's just we discharge what the post office charges us. So yes, thank you guys so much for donating. That's just awesome. Like it actually means stuff to us because you guys are actually. Yeah, that the lemony chicken the lemony chicken like, is really pretty. 
and it's really good. I do think, let's see. Mmm. It's good. I think if I were making it from scratch, like I modify recipes sometimes, I probably would put a little bit less lemon juice than the recipe calls for. Maybe like one tablespoon instead of two. Because it's really lemony. But it is really good. So, um, where are the books not legal? Well, <laughs> it, in the past we had trouble shipping them to Canada. Uh, because Canada has some protectionist laws. Uh, but we couldn't let down our readers. So, but there are other places, random strange places in the world that probably nobody there would. Actually, it's let me... Aga. Okay. Thank you, Aga. I appreciate it. Sorry about that. Um, let me tell... Actually, let me tell everyone this. So, a super chat is a thing where you pay... It's only on YouTube. So, if you are on Facebook and you want to throw a super chat on, you have to go to YouTube to do it. But should we, should we give the link to you? I, I don't know. You could find us on YouTube, you know, how to do that. But a super chat is where you pay a small to a huge amount of money, depending on how much you want to <laughs> donate. Usually it's a smaller amount. But you pay some money to have your um, message stand out from everyone else's, and it notifies us on here. So it shows it to us, and then we can you know keep track of those more and we usually respond to those as soon as possible like we try to finish up our statement and say thanks for the suit 25 dollars what what the <laughs> Dave. Move, move, move. oh i don't know how to do that okay thank you, you are diana. both doing a great job this recipe looks fantastic thank you thank you diana yep diana darling that's a See, uh. So that super chat thing that Dave was talking about, honestly, we don't, we, it's kind of new to us, so we don't really understand entirely This is the first is. time we've ever had a show where people actually are super chatting. Oh, well, thank you, Sue. Sue says, I must say that your cookbook, Dining on a Dime, was one of the best investments I made. Oh, thanks. Oh, Laurel, I'm glad you got it in Canada. Yeah, actually, Tara usually does the shipping, and so she's gone, and I shipped some the other day, and I was paranoid because I wanted to make sure they got there. Dave, are you eating club crackers? Oh. <laughs> you should be eating this. Me and graham crackers, yep. Yay. The world needs more salt, people, yes. Although I put, well, I put go, what it said in there, but. Go to YouTube just in case there's no super chat. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> You're loving the super chat, aren't you? Okay, good. There's not. Okay. Um, yeah, that was awesome, Diana. Thank you. Well, actually, thank you, everybody. Uh, that. Thank you, everybody who super chats. Even if it's like two bucks. <laughs> It still means stuff to us, and it really builds our self-esteem, because it's like... Because yeah, we're the man crew. Because it's <laughs> like, like, we're the crew who never does anything on a show. Yeah. And it really makes us feel better about oh, doing it. Oh, says, stuff. best ever. Thank you so much. Allison's back. Yay. Maybe we should do this more. It says we're doing an awesome job. Okay, so do you have any questions you would want to ask the guys when Tara's not here? Um, <laughs> I... Oh, any secrets about her that you want to know? <laughs> oh yeah, Lisa's Cottage, I'm just eating graham crackers. <laughs> I don't know why I like the taste of them. They're like the honey graham cracker. Graham, oh. <laughs> yeah, graham. That was a Freudian slip there. <laughs> so, crackers. Uh, I'm going to share, so we're on the, tonight's show is part of the Homestead Network and Go and Batty's on next and uh, dude man and I'm sure they would love it if you if you had time if you went over and checked it out afterwards they're gonna be on in about 10 minutes and we'll we'll stay on a little bit longer if, if it looks like people want to keep chatting but people are super chatting come on let's but we'll stay. definitely stop by by 5 30 here which would be hey, it 7 30 on the east coast so do we miss the girls yet oh um not really yet. We've no, actually we talked to we, them about we, five we times don't. today. We don't uh, care. I'll miss them tomorrow because they're in a place where they said they would have no phone or internet. I'm surprised at the no phone thing. Karen Conroy, Roy, no, I don't have any popcorn because, you know, I don't want to get the computer all messy and disgusting. Why, thank you, Dave. And I know Dad's going to be like, at <laughs> it. So I don't want to be... Oh, look, they're saying they love your enthusiasm. Yeah, see... Yes, Super Chats make me excited, Okay. <laughs> This is Dave Unplugged, so, you know, Dave's usually not on camera. I'm usually not on camera. I'm usually, like, the shy person, but, you know, when, yeah. 
Oh, Julie P says, you guys are doing great. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, we do really appreciate those. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you, Julia. <laughs> oh, is, is Betty, Betty's That's saying awesome. the world needs more slot people for mom with being gone. See, I can say it, but I don't know if I have the right... Let's see if I can do this. The world, the world needs, needs more salt, people! people. <laughs> <laughs> Get it! Man, I need to wear an apron that has mom on it saying that when she's gone. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Only Mike will eat it. Yeah. Um, I think, honestly, Thanks, I don't Judy. think the kids... This is probably not the kind of thing our kids would normally like. Although... We don't I like think... the super gourmet meals. We like the basic... Chicken on a plate. They don't like. They don't nice. really eat bell peppers, but I I would say that the sauce is very lemony. So for kids, I would probably half the amount of lemon juice, um, just to make it a little less lemony. Um, uh, on Facebook, I was sorry. I was What's seeing it, what other. Um, sorry, Dad. Oh, um, <laughs> pat ourselves on the back. So wait. So who's going to eat the food you made? I am going to eat it, Sandy. And the, and actually, it's really good. So I'm glad. And. I think I've just, since it says it's supposed to serve two, I was thinking, this looks like it could serve three. So I'll probably, um, Go to the I'll probably eat some and whatever's left, I'll eat it over the next day or so. Yay, Lisa says hopefully I'll be at the meetup in Knoxville. I'm sure they would love to see you there. Dave is super uh, Again, cool. if you're in the Knoxville, Tennessee area, Tara and Ellie will be, um, here, I'm going to paste it in. They're going to be meeting, having an informal meetup uh, in Knoxville, or in uh, Pigeon Forge at the Apple Barn restaurant. And on our last show, just before they left, a bunch of people were saying that this is an amazingly great, oops, restaurant. Why so do people have the last name Tara wants to try it out. It looks like her kind of place, so. What? Let me what? check. Are there any more Super Chats? <laughs> <laughs> do we see anything else in the regular? Okay, on the regular chat. Um, we should move to yeah. Michigan. Oh, oh, another oh, one thanks, just for Sandra. you, Dave. But the... <laughs> but you must try that. Ah. Okay. Okay, why not? See. Hold up, I need a thing of water. Let me get some water. Oh, no. I'll try it. No. Okay. I need water just in case. Lie. Tell him you like it. Okay. <laughs> you have to get water? Oh, just, come on. What? I don't like peppers. You haven't even tried my food. No, I mean peppers. The cat lover says you should make the cheeseburger rolls on the show. Oh, uh, yes, I even really a should. a fork or a spoon. I don't care. See if it was... Do you want a long fork or a short fork? <laughs> Sorry. I don't care. Here, you have a short fork. It's the short fork club just, tonight. One thing a chicken uh, I, or do I just... I think I cut off a little piece right here. Just like right here? Yeah, are you going to eat like the pasta or the pepper like... or anything? Okay, catch the expression. Yep. He's okay. gonna, you're gonna put a pepper in your mouth. Oh, oh man. Oh man. Okay, what he, you will guys do, ready? what he will do for this super is for, chat. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me check. For, uh, for okay, this is for Aga. Aga. Okay, uh, th this thing keeps falling off. How do I get this on? Hold up. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Hmm. Oh whoa. <laughs> that is good. Is it? Yeah, That actually is good. All right. <laughs> oh, thank you, Andrea. <laughs> Man, dude, I'm missing out. Thank you, Aga. So now he's trying to, oh, now he's going to eat more. Yay. Well, if I can cut it. So, well, oops. So how do I get to the regular chat? What will oh. Dave do for money? <laughs> what what Dave will do for money? Yes, well, what's funny is what Dave will do for $5 of money, too. Oh, hey, I have to pay you for that. <laughs> what? <laughs> so make sure it goes straight to Dave for oh. taking the eating the lemony uh, chicken challenge. <laughs> this is horrible. People keep on throwing these in the dishwasher and it's got all this gunk on the side. Oh, Dave, Sophie's mom says, I think you need to start a new weekly series, Men Cook Mondays. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, actually, that would be pretty, I think that would be good. <laughs> well, cat lovers, so proud of you, Dave. Where is good enough for us. Well, go Dave. Nom, nom, nom. Hold on. Let me cut some more. <laughs> see what we have over here. Uh, yeah, there goes my dinner. That's right. <laughs> Guys, this is Dave approved, so you have to eat it. Wow. If it's Dave approved, you have to try wow, to make Dave, it. Oh, Dave, there's pressure for you now to make See, Dave, it's not poison. Kathy, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, Dave. I, I think you're going to have to do the show on, I don't know what day, Friday? Are you going to be ready for cheeseburger rolls on Friday? 
Come straight back from school. Then you can stay at school. I do a cooking show. So I already do, and that's where like 90% of my friends came from, from school. Well, what's so. funny is he's going to a new school, and we, you said that once, when you told them that you have a YouTube show, they just got all suddenly excited. Yeah, the entire class is just like, what? That's awesome. <laughs> so Robin, Jack wow. is, that he came lemon, for a few minutes, a but lemon. he's uh, he's in the other room. I think he's probably, if he still has time left, he's playing on the computer. He Although should. it has a timer on it, so after a little while it says... You have five minutes left. You better stop. So, Toby, minutes. it turned out really good. Here. Wait, let's see if anyone else super chatted for me to do something. Bandana! Because you tried it and liked it. <laughs> so Thank this, you, Bandana. Toby, this is the lemony chicken breast recipe we made today. It's uh, from page 204 in Dining on a Dime. Oh my goodness, this is and so much... <laughs> it turned out really good. Well, actually, What's going on? it's been sitting for a few minutes, so the sauce has kind of thickened up on it, but... So many super chats. It's Mama's really good, proud. and Dave just tried it, and he really liked it. I actually thought that was pretty good. It's really lemony. What? What is this? Like, I thought... That's parsley. It actually, I don't know. It I, didn't have a taste. I don't think parsley adds much flavor. It didn't have flavor when I tried it. It just tasted like lettuce. Uh, which was It does have a little bit of a flavor. It's kind of like eating grass. <laughs> <laughs> so, but when it's well, got yeah, lemon on it... Ooh, Dave is coming out of his shell. Well, yeah. uh... Well, yeah, I mean, if you guys are going to pay me five bucks to eat something really weird on the show, I will. That's awesome, Dave's veggie challenge. Yes, he put a, a bell pepper in his mouth. So Now we need to, to like, pay 25 bucks for me to eat a um, jalapeno. Yeah. <laughs> so Jack's asking, when are we going to cook so cut soap? I should. Oh, don't. Yeah, I should take a photo. Oh, Although, hold up. Oh, Although, no, the camera's on now. We can do it after the show. We'll try to have, we'll have to spruce it up slightly because it's been sitting now for half an hour, but... No, we could just put it through a light room and like add some saturation and water. Thanks water everyone, you, you guys have a lot of fun together, good job guys. Thanks Hope Floats always. Um, That's a lid. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Oh my goodness, thank you all of you Wow, guys. thanks. Well, we're going to go here in a couple minutes, but... Um, this show is part of the, the Homestead Network on Wednesdays, and after us is Go and Batty. I'm going to share their link if you, oh, I'm sorry, if you have time and you'd like to head on over and see what they're all about. Um, they're, this is their channel address, or you could just go search for Go and Batty. On YouTube, not on Facebook, I don't think. Yeah. Oops. Oh, wow. That's awesome. They're wow. liking us, Dave. They're liking us. Oh my goodness! I should be on the show more, more popular. <laughs> you know now You're I should finally just, the cool kids. Now if there's some kind of food that I don't want to eat that mom makes, <clears> I should say, all right. If anyone super chats for like five bucks, it's gonna I'll be eat the, it. Dave's gonna have a telethon. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have a. Okay, yeah. we, we should check one more time just in case, because um, okay, did anyone? Okay, nope. Wow, because you tried it and liked it. That's awesome. I actually See, you get like bonus it. points for liking it. Actually, the lemon kind of was like half of the flavor. It kind of took over. Because I, I noticed the lemon and the pepper. I mean, not the pepper. The lemon and the chicken were the most, like, <gasps> dominant taste. Oh, yay, Julie. So you're planning to probably go to the meetup, too. Oh. That'll be great. Yeah. Uh, I, I think they'll be glad to meet you guys. Um, it's funny because Tara wasn't sure on the road what it's like but after ellie and i i said we had a great time uh, Every, everybody we ever met when we were overseas bandana yes you should see us friday i don't know if i'm cooking cheeseburger rolls <laughs> should I? I i i don't know how to cook cheeseburger rolls <laughs> yeah Can oh be directed <laughs> then cooking what next Okay, uh, I'm going to share one cooking more... cooking real food. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm going to share one more time that no, Tara and Ellie are in Knoxville, Tennessee, and they're going to have a meetup in Pigeon Forge tomorrow at the Apple Barn restaurant. I'm sharing that link right now for anyone that's in the area of eastern Tennessee or I think, was it, northern Georgia or anywhere else that's close to there. Thanks. I just shared that link. So we're going to probably wrap it here in a minute or two so that uh, people can go over and check out Going Batty. Oh, Rebecca but, says time to learn about the cheeseburger rolls. Actually, what's funny is I was joking around with Tara about having a man cooking day where 
We make like box here macaroni is. here and, it is <laughs> and ramen noodles and all that how about macaroni on waffles which is inside <laughs> ramen noodles <laughs> <laughs> but, but it, this turned out to be we've already stepped it up about above that so i don't know if we'll be able to go back to the box food so oh wow yeah anyway We're... well let's see if there's anything else before we go oh thank you uh let's see what you making friday you know, even though I am planning further ahead than Tara, I haven't yet gotten that far ahead. BJ, we had like 11 super chats, and one of them was for me to eat this food. So... Because I didn't want to. <laughs> and it was good. You want to come be on the show, BJ? Well, he has to get faster. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> um, all right. Well, thanks a lot wait, so wait, much, wait. everyone. Hold up. Does it look like... I, wait, I left Tara and Ellie's on the road. Whoa, did they put a video in and I didn't know? Oh, I yeah. think I saw a thumbnail for it just when we were starting this show, so I'm going to have to go watch their show. Um, and I was trying to figure out how to, um, how to, sorry, I got confused. I was trying to figure out how to get them on, like, through Skype or something, but I don't know if we'll be able to do that, so. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us tonight for The Man Hour, yes. Living on a Dime. <laughs> and wait, oh, wait, lid behind you looks like it's about to fall. Where? What? We uh, what lid? This oh no, actually it's it's a big lid, so oh. it's not right. Um, if you have any special requests for Friday, we have not yet determined what show we're making, so I might consider like the cheeseburger a special rolls. request. So if you think of something you would like us to make, well, the cheeseburger rolls we could do. I mean, I could try. We've done it. that for a show before. I need to be instructed on what to do because I never. Cut. I can tell you, pick up that knife and cut that. <laughs> cut what? You're saying that? Yeah. I could just... All right, everybody. Well, go check out Going Batty on Try YouTube. this recipe if you can. If yeah, you... definitely try this recipe. The lemony chicken breast is on page 204 of Dining on a Dime Cookbook. If it were me, I'd probably use about half as much lemon juice. I think this is good enough to just wear... Just to make it not quite as lemony, but it was it's really good. I don't so. think it's, like... I don't think I would like it as an everyday dinner, but if you had it, like, every other day... Lemony says too that'd much That would be pepper. pretty good. Um, no, it's not too much pepper. Actually, I didn't taste the pepper because the lemons. All right, we're getting some votes for cheeseburger rolls. So as we go, if you want to uh, put your vote in for what we should be well, making on Friday or Monday, yeah, we'll definitely make the cheeseburger rolls while Tara's gone. Uh, At some point. But if Sorry. you have a specific preference for like Friday that's different than that, go ahead and put it in the comments as as we wrap the show. So, all right, uh, Dave's gonna share the link one more time for going batty, and then we're gonna. Call it a night. It Go play some more video games. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that would, that's what I think we should do. Okay, here's the last final link, and goodbye. Yeah, kid friendly food. That's a good idea. We Wait, might let me to check to like make that. sure there's no more. There's no more super chat. I'm okay, not sure good. how much popcorn and nachos we can get. Goodbye, on the guys. Show. Bye, everyone. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Love y'all. Love y'all. See you later. <laughs> Actually, I really could. Look for a dirty rice recipe. I really, that tasted a lot better than I thought it would be.